molecular messengers neurotransmitters neurotransmitters are the chemical messengers that medicates the passage of electrical information from one neuron to an adjacent neuron what is the one neuron to adjacent neuron means in between neuron to neuron the small gap will be there that gap for this messengers are giving to information and this message will be gives to brain so the brain is whole function to do the everything of our body there are more than 40 neuro transmitted in the human nervous system some of the most important are acetylcholine harpine prine dopamine gamma amino butyric acid histamine and serotonin serotonin okay these are neurotransmitted messengers so these messengers are giving to information to the brain so pituitary gland is the control uh, controller of this all messengers uh, next uh, first hormone thyroid hormones thyroid hormone is the main function uh, of the secret secreted by the thyroid gland are called thyroid thyroid hormones or thyroxine okay the thyroid hormones which is releasing of the hormones that hormones is known as thyroxine okay thyroid hormones also no problem or otherwise thyroxine these hormones activate the consumption of oxygen and regulate the metabolic reaction of lipids and carbohydrates thyroxine enhances the growing okay the thyroxine is enhances enhances means uh, the giving to uh, enhancement or other is increase increment increase okay these are all related to enhances enhanced the growing hormone this is uh, uh, one of the growing hormone also no problem the secretion of thyroxine hormone less or more results uh, hypothyroidism and uh, hypothyroidism or otherwise hyperthyroidism hypothyroidism or otherwise hyperthyroidism okay means uh, releasing of less less also giving to hypo okay or releasing of or secretion of thyroxine hormone giving to hyperthyroidism okay uh, in order to reduce the hypothyroidism iodine has to be taken and so in this secretion of hormone iodine is the main function to do the less secretion or otherwise more secretion hyperthyroidism is less significant hypothyroidism is a less significant uh, next uh, in that uh, thyroxine hormones as if the more secretion or otherwise less secretion so we can use the different types of chemicals to reduce the secretion of hyper thyroidism or otherwise hypothyroidism so we are taking the different types of drugs so first uh, this uh, related drug is sulfonamide what is that sulfonamide sulfonamide prontosil breaks down in the tissue to para amino benzene sulfonamide known as sulfonam sulfonyl amide what is that the tissue to para amino benzene sulfonamide known as sulfonyl amide what is that sulfonyl amide sulfonyl amide okay the structure is given here so para amino 
sulfan sulfanamide or otherwise sulfanyl amide also no problem means uh, the benzene ring has nh2 group amine group and as well as sulfanyl group sulfanyl amide group what is that sulfanyl and sulfanyl amide group means uh, s double bond o next to nh2 group both are in para position okay so next Sulfonamide have been extensively used in gram-positive bacterial infections. It acts effectively against meningococci and pneumococci disease. Sulfonamide drug is used for menin meningococci and Hemococci diseases. Sulfonamide. The sulfonamide structure is given here. Sulfodoxime. Sulfodoxime means uh, sulfo sulfonamide drugs are different types. In that, uh, here two are given. Sulfodoxime. Sulfodoxime. Next, uh, sulfathiazole. Sulfa thiazole. Sulfa doxim is connected with sulfur para amino sulfur group to oxime group. Okay, so that is known as sulfa sulfo doxime. Sulfo doxime. Oxine group is there. So that's why we are saying sulfo doxime. Next one more is sulfa. Thiazole, sulfothiazole. Here, thiazole group is there. Thiazole group means one S and one more is nitrogen group. That is known as thiazide, thiazole, thiazole. Here, two nitrogen groups are there. That is known as oxime, oxime group. Okay. So, oxime group here, thiazole group. So preparation we can see means uh, or we can go to preparation. So here the sulfonamide, sulfonamide metabolic process. So formation of the sulfa thiazole, sulfa thiazole. Next, serotonin. Its formula is C10H12N2O. C10H12N2O. Structure is given here. 5 hydroxy tryptamine. What is that? 5 hydroxy tryptamine. It is a messenger for the thyroxine hormone. And so, when we are getting, we are getting the less thyroxine or otherwise more thyroxine hormone so we are using this type of drugs and so first drug is sulfonamide or otherwise sulfonyl amide second one is serotonin okay when you are taking the thyroid 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 related pupils drugs you can see on the script you are getting this type of name and so 
serotonin. It's the formula is C ten H twelve N two O. So that is known as five hydroxy tryptamine. Five H T. Shortly, we are saying five H T. Five means the fifth position having hydroxy group and tryptan. Tryptamine. This is known as tryptamine group. This is the tryptamine group. Okay, so that's why we are saying shortly 5-HT. 5-HT. It is a neurotransmitter. What is that? It is a neurotransmitter. Means a neurological drug. Neurotransmitter. It is available in banana. Means a, it is naturally getting. From banana, okay. So that's why we are taking of banana in our dietary. Okay. So it is effect on cardio cardio circular system. Since it is affected from affected the cardio circular system, brain nervous system and digestive system. Since banana is taking a good. For health, because of it is effects on cardio cir cardio circular system and brain nervous system and digestive system also. Serotonin also significantly affect the central nervous system (CNS). Already we are learn in previous classes central nervous system. It is known as CNS and hemological systems. Hemological system means the blood. Related system means uh, RBC or WBC platelets. It causes to sleepiness, sleepingness. Next, uh, migraine, headache, and uh, depression. Means uh, it is giving to depression. Next, uh, sulfonamide have. Sulfonamide have been extensively used in gram-positive bacterial infection. Next, adrenergic drugs. Adrenergic drug. What is that? Adrenergic drugs. Adrenergic drugs are used in emergency situations such as cardiac arrest. Beta receptors are important in adrenergic drugs. These are of two types. Means uh, adrenergic drugs are used in emergency situations such as cardiac arrestment. Means uh, a little bit uh, heart stroke or otherwise. Beta receptors are important in this adrenergic drugs. These are two types: beta receptors and beta two receptors. Beta one re receptors and beta two receptors. These drugs are used to reduce the asthma disease. Means so this these drugs are used to reduce the asthma disease. Salbutamol or albuterol. Salbutamol or albuterol. It is a anti-asthmatic drug. What is that? Anti-asthmatic drug. Asthma people will be take this type of drug. Salbutamol or albuterol. Albuterol. Synthesis. We can go to synthesis when para-hydroxy acetophenone reacts with ortho-hydroxy methylation. To form a product which further reacts with acetyl oxide, followed by bromination, reduction by sodium boron hydrate to form secondary alcohol. When it reacts with benzyl tertiary butyl amine and hydrolyzes to form benzyl salbutamol. When it undergo D-benzyl benzylation to form salbutamol. Once more, when a para-hydroxy acetophenone, para-hydroxy 
acetophenone here given say para hydroxy acetophenone reacts with ortho hydroxy methylation ortho hydroxy methylation is there this is known as ortho hydroxy methylation and so the ortho hydroxy acetophenone so second position ortho ortho position so that is known as ortho position ortho hydroxy methylation is the reaction mechanism so formation of ortho hydroxy ortho hydroxy acetophenone what is that ortho hydroxy acetophenone means so this anhydride group is substituted on the ortho position okay ortho position next uh, as well as n acetone acet acetamide acetamide is acetamide is substituted on the hydroxy group then that is react 